Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to record a part of a story on Audacity and input a few sound samples that I have already downloaded from Freesound before. So first I'm going to go on Audacity, I'm going to open a new track. Then before I do anything else, I'm going to save my project. I'm going to go save as and I'm going to save it on a place where I know I can find it. So maybe if I already have a folder, I'm going to save it there. Otherwise, just save it on your desktop. And I'm going to say Wiz of Oz. Wiz of Oz. Save. OK. Then, before I do this recording, I need to know, have a few things ready. So I need to know what the story I'm going to be reading is. So I already put it on the notepad so that I can see it on the screen and follow around. And I need to know what sound effects I want to have. So I've already downloaded the sound effects that I'm going to be using. I downloaded it on freesound.org. And in one of the previous lessons, I showed you how to do that. So I have a sound of wind. I have a thump. I have a dog barking. And I have someone falling down. You'll see most of the files that I'm downloading is mp3s and .waves. And they're much easier to work with. OK, so let's go. So I'm going to be recording my voice first. So here is the red button is for record. This is for play, pause and stop. OK, let's go. Let me record the story. From the far north, they heard a low wail of wind. Toto jumped out of Dorothy's arm and hid under the bed. Aunt Em threw open the trap door in the floor and climbed down the ladder. Dorothy caught Toto and started to follow her aunt. When she was halfway across the room, there came a great shriek from the wind and the house shook so hard, she lost her footing and sat down suddenly upon the floor. You will see that actually I changed a little bit. She lost her footing. It was not she lost her foot. That would be much worse. Okay, so now I have my story. I'm just going to check it quickly. So I go, I go back to the beginning and I'm going to listen to it. From the far north. There. Hey, it's there. All right. Now I need to input the sounds that I've already got downloaded. So I'm going to import audio. So you go file, import audio. Input audio, I go to my desktop. And the first sound that I think is really important is possibly the wind sound. Because that's everywhere. I'm going to go wind. I'm going to import the wind. OK, here's my wind sound. So now you'll see the wind is very, very, very long. So I need to cut it a little bit. So I'm just going to cut. You see here, if I want to highlight something, take that, and I'm going to cut it. I feel like this, I cut that one. If I just want to cut this track, I just highlight this track. I'm going to cut it a little bit. And I'm going to make it even shorter. Let's see. You'll see, I cut a little bit in the middle because I can think that this wind at the beginning and the wind at the end is louder so I want to see what that listens that sounds like let's listen from the far north there's a little bit a low wail of I think it's a little bit too loud so I'm just gonna make it here with the gain a little bit softer there from the far north they heard a low wail of wind Toto jumped out of Dorothy's arm and hid under the bed Aunt M threw open the trap door in the floor and climbed down the ladder. Dorothy caught Toto and started to follow her aunt. When she was halfway across the room, there came a great shriek from the wind and the house shook so hard, she lost her footing and sat down suddenly upon the floor. Okay, so when the well wind is here at the end, it's actually a little bit louder. So let me see if this is better. When she was halfway across the room, there came a great shriek from the wind. So maybe I want to make this little bit of wind just a little bit louder. So I'm just going to highlight it. I'm going to effect. Here we go. Let's see. 
When she was halfway across the room, there came a great shriek from the wind, and the house shook so hard, mm. she lost her footing and sat down suddenly upon the floor. Okay, now, so when the wind has a shriek, my wind goes a little bit louder, and then, let me just cut the end so that the end is together. Okay, so now, next thing I need is I need a little bit of a dog barking, because Toto is a dog and Toto jumped out of so that's exactly there where I need my little dog sound to be so now if I want to make the tracks a little bit smaller I just like, like that so I can see it okay now I've got to input my next track but this one I'm going to do a different way I'm just going to show you how you can actually just drag and drop it so make this window a little bit smaller so that I can see my desktop then I can just also do it this way which is maybe a little bit easier these are two ways to import your files. Now you will see my dog barking is right here in the beginning. So if I want to move a part of a track, I don't use this one, I use this one. Time shift tool. I click on this one. And now I think when they talk about Toto, it's round about here. Go back to that one to show where I am. Toto jumped. Okay, now Toto maybe has to be Toto waff waff. There we go, let's try. Toto jumped out of Dorothy's arm. I think Toto is too loud. Let's put Toto a little bit softer. Let's go back. A low wail of wind. Toto jumped out of Dorothy's arm. Still a little bit too loud. Let me make him a little bit softer. Here we go. Low wail of wind. Toto jumped out of Dorothy's arm and hid under the bed. Aunt M threw open the trap door and Okay. Now when Aunt M throws open the trap door, I think I'm out of Dorothy's arm and I think I need another sound. I think I need this thump. So I'm just gonna drag it in. Actually I like dragging it in it's easier. So now when Aunt M throws open the trap door, I think it's about here, let's listen. Every time I want to choose where to play, I go to this selection tool. And when I want to move stuff, I go to the time shift tool. Actually, I don't use other tools. I just use that one and that one. Okay, let's see where I am now. Under the bed. Aunt M threw open the trap door in the floor and climbed down the ladder. Dorothy caught Toto and started to follow her aunt. When she was halfway across the room, there came a great shriek from the wind. And the house shook so hard, she lost her footing and sat down suddenly upon the floor. Okay, now when she sits down suddenly upon the floor, I need a thump. So I think I downloaded this one, someone falling down. And I'm just going to drag it in here at the bottom. But I have a lot of tracks already now, so I'm just making it a little bit smaller so I can see everybody. And then I'm going to drag someone falling down here so someone falling down needs to be at the end so I choose my so time shift tool and I move him here but actually I don't let me just listen if I want to listen to just what one track sounds like I pick the solo track let's just listen to what this thumb sounds like I think there's two thumbs I only need one I just need one so I'm gonna highlight the one and just delete him so I just have it's the same commands as for your word documents now let me see where the falling down is if I don't want to mute something I can just go like this the dog is still muted okay I think this one has to move a little bit up the footing and sat down suddenly upon the floor Okay, let's listen to it. If I want to go right to the beginning, I need to go skip to start home. From the far north, they heard a low wail of wind. Toto <coughs> jumped out of Dorothy's arm and hid under the bed. Aunt M threw open the trap door in the floor and climbed down the ladder. 
Dorothy caught Toto and started to follow her aunt. When she was halfway across the room, there came a great shriek from the wind, and the house shook so hard, she lost her footing and sat down suddenly upon the floor. Okay, so my story is finished. Okay, so let me just save it quickly. Just save the project. I've already created it so that I don't lose it. If you remember from the previous lesson, you will know that if you save something in Audacity, it has a little folder of data that goes with it. Okay, so here is our WizOS Audacity icon, and then it goes with a Wiz of Dof Wiz of Oz folder. So you want to keep these two files together. And let's export it so that I can send it to a friend or a teacher. I go export and I think it's easier just to export it as WAVE. The quality is better and for MP3 you need something different. So don't worry about that. So just case Wizard of Oz sound story to my desktop. Save. Yes. Bingo. And there you go. Finished. Task completed. Well done. So you have created a sound story with yourself reading a short paragraph, adding four different sound effects, and saving it as an Audacity file with its own data folder. You've exported it as a WAV file. This you can play with your media player of choice. I like VLC media player. Don't really matter. From the far north, the hurry. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Congratulations. You have created your very first sound story. You've saved it as an Audacity file. Remember, Audacity file has two different things that have to go together in the same folder. You've imported four different sound effects and you have exported it in as a WAV file. This WAV file you can play with your player of choice. I like VLC media player, so I can just go open with VLC media player. And there is my song. Of course, there's many other things you can do, but for now, just try to do a simple story, recording your voice and inputting four sound effects. Have fun.